Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to see how to make a profile of a river and we are going to study the electrical conductivity. So first of all let's add the layers. Uh, we're going to start adding the... both of them are vector layers. I am going to look for them and here we have the electrical conductivity one. Add and we also have the secondary reverse shape file. So open, add, and close. So here we have the information about electrical conductivity. These are this is a point data set, data set, and we have also the secondary reverse, which are lines. Um, we are going to start interpolating the um, electrical conductivity because we want to have a raster file. We can change the properties of electrical conductivity. We can go to properties, symbology, and then um, we can use the graduated one and we are going to use the column electrical conductivity. We can classify it and change the color. In this case, I am going to use the blue one. We can change the intervals. In this case, I'll, mm, I'll use quantiles. And I'll say OK. And that's how we change the color of the points. We can change the properties of the reverse as well. We can go to symbology and then we can use the symbols dash blue and OK. OK, so now we have the points and we have the reverse. Now let's interpolate the electrical conductivity so we obtain a raster. We go to, we are going to use the inverse distance weighted interpolation. We can open the processing toolbox so we go to processing toolbox and it will be right here and now we can look for IDW interpolation we're going to use the vector layer EC and the interpolation attribute um, electrical conductivity then we click on this input layer symbol and we need to select the extent of the raster. Select extent on canvas and I'll select this extent and then run in background. Okay, now we have this raster and this information is the interpolation of the electrical conductivity. So we can change the properties of the raster as well. We go to um, right click on interpolated properties and then style, single band, pseudo color. And you can change the color ramp if you want or just keep it like this. In this case, we can, we can change the properties, we can change the color and I'll invert the color ramp, so the higher the value we have the red color, and OK. And now let's move the secondary reverse and let's check, uh, we're going to do a profile of the river. So we're going to use the tool that's called um, the profile tool. So we have to go to manage and install plugins and search profile tool. Click on profile tool and then you will click on install install plugin. Then you can open the plugin by going to plugins profile tool and to run profile. And here we'll uh, we will have the, the tool. Here we have the graph, we have the y-axis and the x-axis. We are going to click 
select interpolated and click on add layer and now here we have the interpolated layer and we're going to change the settings the river the um, the river that I am going to analyze is this one so I want to select this line so go to options selection and then selected polyline and now just click on the line oh first of all you have to select secondary rivers and then select the line so now we can see here the electrical conductivity values because we selected the interpolated raster which has the electrical conductivity values and we have these values as a profile so here in the x-axis we have the values of the electrical conductivity and in the sorry in the y-axis we have the values of electrical conductivity and in the x-axis we have the distance from the beginning so if you can see we also have a point right here and if you move this um, this point in the graph you can see how it moves in the river as well so what we can see here is that we have a lower electrical conductivity in this intersection and then the value decreases but at some point we have a peak so here we have higher values of electrical conductivity which can mean um, that there's a source of contamination or that there is more evapotranspiration in this part of the river and we are getting high um, a higher concentration of ions in water. If you want you can save this graph you just have to click on save as and and just write here the name of the graph and save and you can save it as an image and this is all for this tutorial I'll see you in the next one. Bye!